Lisbon wakes each morning with sunlight reflecting off the Tagus River, and on the horizon unfolds the imposing silhouette of one of Europe's most fascinating bridges, the Vasco da Gama Bridge. Stretching 17.2 kilometers, this concrete and steel giant is not just Portugal's longest bridge, it is a symbol of humanity's ability to conquer nature and connect worlds. In the late 20th century, Lisbon faced a growing problem. The iconic 25th of April bridge was overwhelmed with traffic. The capital urgently needed a new route to ease congestion and unite the north and south. The Vasco da Gama Bridge was born out of this necessity and inaugurated in 1998 after an intense 18-month construction just in time for Lisbon's World Expo. Before its steel and concrete spine appeared across the river, there was a vision bigger than traffic statistics. It was a vision of unity, of opening new paths, not just for cars and trucks, but for people, stories, and ambitions, carving a new chapter in the city's destiny. Its construction also marked a turning point in how Portugal approached infrastructure projects. For the first time on such a scale, engineers incorporated sustainability strategies from the very beginning. This included monitoring local ecosystems and adapting designs to minimize disruption to bird nesting areas and aquatic life. Today, crossing the bridge is an experience. Drivers feel suspended above the Tagus as if floating on water, following an invisible path that stretches toward the horizon. On foggy days, the bridge disappears into infinity like a portal to another world. Its pillars rise from the water like ancient guardians, holding a roadway that carries thousands of vehicles daily. The structure was designed to blend with the landscape and lessen its environmental impact, safeguarding the rich biodiversity of the estuary. But beyond statistics and materials, there's something poetic in the way the bridge interacts with Lisbon's skyline. It doesn't dominate the view, it complements it. Its curves echo the waves below, and its silhouette, seen at sunset, becomes a kind of sculpture in motion. Beyond its physical presence, the bridge also represents a psychological transformation. For decades, the Tagus acted as both a natural and symbolic divide. With the opening of the Vasco da Gama Bridge, what once felt distant suddenly became accessible. Communities that lived in the river's shadow now saw it as a passage, not a boundary, a shift that reshaped the identity and rhythm of daily life for thousands. Far more than a visual landmark, the Vasco da Gama Bridge spurred regional growth. Its presence encouraged Lisbon's expansion southward, opening up residential and industrial areas. Today, it is a vital artery for commerce and tourism, linking the heart of Portugal with the rest of Europe. The bridge's aesthetics are as deliberate as its structure. With sleek lines and a minimalist design, it reflects a modern architectural language that harmonizes with Lisbon's historic skyline, rather than overshadowing it. At night, it glows subtly, an elegant thread weaving the city to its future. Beyond its visual impact, the Vasco da Gama Bridge has transformed life in the region. By connecting Lisbon to the South Bank, it turned distant areas into vibrant, accessible communities. What once required a lengthy detour can now be crossed in mere minutes. Here's a fun fact. Upon its completion, the Vasco da Gama Bridge held the title of the longest bridge in Europe, still the longest in the European Union. Its engineering is as robust as its length, Foundations planted more than 65 meters deep anchor it against earthquakes, water erosion, and the distant rumble of traffic. At sunrise and sunset, the bridge doubles as a canvas. Bathed in gold and orange, it frames one of Lisbon's most breathtaking vistas. Yet even such a formidable structure must evolve. Proposals are in place to expand its capacity and prepare for the future. Cutting-edge sensors already monitor its health constantly. As the world shifts towards sustainable mobility, the bridge may become a key route for electric and autonomous vehicles. Studies are underway to explore dedicated eco-friendly lanes, aiming to reduce the environmental footprint of traffic that crosses it. The bridge also plays a symbolic role. Named after Vasco da Gama, the explorer who opened the sea route to India 500 years earlier, it pays homage to Portugal's spirit of exploration, this time not by sea, but by engineering across land and water. The Vasco da Gama bridge is more than steel, cables, and concrete. It is a living artery connecting people, energizing economies, and transcending geography. Not just a means to cross the Tagus, but a reminder of engineering's power to overcome nature's boundaries. With each dawn that lights its pillars, and each car that traverses its span, the bridge continues its story. That of a giant over water, merging past with future in a masterpiece of modern engineering.